Stage one of the Giro d'Italia is a 9.8 kilometer time trial in the Dutch town of Appledorn. It's pan flat, aerodynamics is gonna be really important, which is why I bought my aero bike, my aero helmet. Yeah, it's gonna be super fast, super fun. So, uh, Matt. Lasty, we're in one of the most beautiful towns in the Netherlands, okay? Why not travel around in style on one of these? In fact, it's actually the law. That's just, that's just too much. But I've, only, I've only got my aero kit. It's gonna to have to do. Okay, this is the first section of the course. Got a downhill map. And we've actually got the, one of the only downhill sections before there's a very, very short climb. So I'm just gonna engage a low gear as soon as I can. A little bit too low there, nearly lost my footing. It's pretty smooth and flat. All about aerodynamics, not overly technical so far, where the riders have to make sure they won't put themselves into the red on that very short little climb. Well, I'm not sure the pros are going to be on the bike path, Matt. They probably won't be on the bike path, but you never know. They might want to take the scenic view. Hello, thank you very much. But still, dead straight line, all about the application of power. And remember, this distance, only 9.8 kilometers, not a prologue, but also not a long TT. I'm going to have to stop a minute. My bike's f***ed. Hold on one second. Just a quick pit stop. The speed we were going, part of my, uh, well, part of my fender, fender, actually just blew off. So I'm going to have to tuck this into my backpack and hopefully we'll get going very shortly. Yeah, just under a third of the way through. And you always think of riding on the flat as being easier, but I can guarantee that despite appearances, this is going to be far from it. The onus is going to be on the riders to get up to a brutally fast pace, likely riding at a pretty high cadence because it's so flat, and maintain it. Here we are halfway through the course, about 4.9 kilometers in. And what's that in Italian, Lasty? Uh, it's uh, meta per corso. So what kind of time do you think the really fast guys will be getting to this point at? I think they could well be hitting it at around six minutes, depending on the wind. Yep. It's a very fat, very fast course all the way around. There isn't isn't a hill in sight here. So they're going to be screaming a lot as long as they're not into a headwind. Definitely. And this is the first part that's really sheltered, pretty sub well, suburban -y, pretty leafy and quite nice actually. One thing worth noting is that the road surface has changed yeah. from the very smooth kind of near main road surface that we saw earlier on in the, on the course to a slightly rougher concrete surface. The riders will have raced in Belgium and Honda a lot so they'll be familiar with it but it does just give that extra couple of percent of resistance, doesn't it? It's, everything's going to be a drag by now. So, after heading down one side of the canal, the riders kind of chuck a U-turn and start heading up the other side. And it did feel like there was a headwind on that side, and it's the same again here. So, it's going to be interesting for the riders, it's a bit tough. But I imagine they'll start to pick up some serious speed. What you've got to watch in Holland, though, are these things, the Dremples. Big Definitely. speed bumps. Probably not that comfortable when you're in an aero tuck, as Matt is about to demonstrate. This is the penultimate corner of the opening time trial of this year's Giro, with about 1,500 metres to go. And it's a pretty sharp one. What do you reckon, Lasty? Should we give it a nudge now? Let's go for it. Well, there you go. That is, or well, that was, the opening TT of this year's Giro d'Italia. Well, Lasty, who do you reckon is going to win it? I can't see past Tom de Moulin. Dutch rider on classic Dutch roads, really flat time trial. He's one of the best time trials in the world. I just can't see him being beaten. Good tip, but I'm going for Fabian Cancellara. Interesting call. What we really want to know is who you think is going to win, so do tell us your predictions down in the comments. I'll tell you what though, after that ride, Holland is definitely a place best explored by bike and it really doesn't matter which one at all. This was like riding a sofa. I know, so was mine to be honest with it. Anyway, for all things Giro d'Italia, how about heading up just here for our Giro d'Italia playlist and for our Giro d'Italia preview show, click just down there. You might notice something different about the kit I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm in our new GCN kit and click right there and head over to our store to get yours.
definitely. And to subscribe to GCN, as ever, click on us. And don't forget to like and share.